As anyone can tell from my blog, armpitnj.com, I have a bit of an obsession with Snooki. And though I tease her a lot by calling her a slut or saying how she looks like a pumpkin, I do it out of love. And what better way to show my love than by creating a life-size replica of Snooki out of pumpkins? A snook -a lantern if you will. So I gather my materials, some pumpkins, an official jersey poof wig and other accessories, pumpkin carving tools, and duct tape. I also print out some pictures of Snooki for inspiration. I then set up my workstation and get started. Instead of carving out her face, I opt to scratch into the skin, which makes things a little easier. Before long, I create Snooki's eyes, nose, and lips. Those soft, luscious lips. Uh, anyway, I give her some eyelashes and the face is complete. I then take a little off the top. Just as I suspected, Snooki's head is pretty hollow. And now for the part that's going to turn this from an ordinary pumpkin into a Snooki pumpkin, the poof wig. Although she's really starting to look like Snooki, something's a little off. I know, compared to the real Snooki, girl's looking a little pale. But that's nothing a quick trip to the tanning salon can't fix. After giving her some eye protection, my Snooki head is all set to go in the tanning bed for 30 minutes at 375 degrees. And while she's cooking, I mean tanning, away, I get to work on making her short, orange body. I cut a small pumpkin in half, which will serve as a snookettes, and attach them to the torso pumpkin. As you can see, I'm having a little too much fun with this part. After securing the pumpkin boobs with duct tape, I cut up a spare pumpkin to create the arms and legs. And now her head is ready to come out of the tanning bed. Perfect. Our girl is looking fresher than ever. On a side note, she also tastes great with some butter and brown sugar. Anyway, I bring the snooky head back to the garage so I can crown my masterpiece. Beautiful. The only problem? She's pretty naked. While this may be how Snooky is found in her natural habitat, I decide to make her a little more presentable. There, that's better. Now I just put Snooky on her throne and add some finishing touches. After taking some pictures alongside my work of art, I light her up. Finally, my Snooky lantern is complete and looks just as beautiful, radiant, and orange as the original.